Right, morning everyone. So let's continue this redemption. Wow, I have fifty dollar bounty. just happened Excuse me. Why she was heading towards this side? But she actually need to go back. What's wrong with her? Mind taking me there? Sure. Glad I ran into you. Huh. 
I raised that horse, you know. Raised it since it was just a foal. Oh, uh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, that horse did right by me. Better than my husband, truth be told. That fool always complains. Okay, she don't actually like her husband. Complaining, but does he do something about it? Man barely lifts his hand to wave the flies away, aside from to lift a drink, of course. Marriage for me has been nothing but trouble. But Biscuit, he was a fine animal. It's interesting. After the. Smart. I'm doing the pause. Didn't take no guff, not from no one. Yeah, not continue. Had one of them mountain boys just pull a gun on me once. I was riding up near the Dakota and had stopped by a nice warm patch. Must have dozed off, but I wake up and find some nasty piece of work pointing a rusty shotgun straight at me. Well, he gets wheezing on and I must have made some sort of noise because the next thing I know, Biscuit had nipped his ear clean off. Kicked his hide too as he was hollering away. Didn't think a man could run so fast. Oh yeah. Yeah, had a good laugh on that one. <laughs> I tell the husband, what does he do? Should have never gone over there, honey. He says. Gee, thanks. <coughs> so, you live at Emerald Ranch then? For the time being. I was looking for work. They was looking for some help with the gardens. If I waited any longer for my husband to put food on the table, I'd have died of starvation. I'll be moving on soon, though. Emerald Ranch, well, it's a strange place. How so? The owner's a mean bastard. Strange, too. Delights in bullying folk. There's a daughter, but she never leaves the house. You can see her in the window sometimes. When I asked about her, everybody told me to leave it alone. Found an old saloon there, all shut down now, but I went in to have a look, and there's bullet holes, old blood stains, something definitely happened there, but I couldn't figure it. Just an uncomfortable feeling to the place. Either way, it's time I left, especially now I lost that poor horse. I'll collect my belongings and be on my way. Back home? I guess. I bet my husband's right where I left him, bottle in hand. <laughs> I'm just uh, very curious about the uh, I Why it's not restoring itself? Ooh, we're getting close now. Okay then. Here we go. This is great. This was kind of you, mister. Please take this as my way of thanking you. <laughs> Appreciate it. <sighs> what a lousy day. Okay, if I came here already, so I do this mission first. I don't understand yet what this white dust on the map mean. White fog, I mean. Okay.
somebody running. Come on, girl. Ah, you good, girl? Good morning, friend. So, feeling better? How's your scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about, or you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? <laughs> Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you? It just makes you look stupid. Come along. You'll see. That train job was a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you. We try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that we... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. Saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was a prize pony once. Now I'm the workhorse. Listen. Dutch is, but, but, well, you was at that thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkerton's here. A new century's coming. This life, this way, well, we're the last, I reckon. And we ain't long for it. Then that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. You coming? All right. So where are we going? Just need to pick up something. This guy is walking it so slow. There's a hitching post over there. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. Uh, I already don't like how this is going. Mm, yes. Gun store. Yep. Can you uh head in, pick up a sniper rifle? I'll explain later. Don't you wear yourself out now. Hello. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Eh, yeah, shouldn't be a problem. If you want to see what we've got, it's all in the catalog here. Tools, bolt, running deck, many long range rifles. Only the sniper one, I think. Arm. So this one is for zero. I think that's what I need.
It looks so strange. Sure. Let's go. Hey, mister. How you doing? <laughs> you like that. Great. Why couldn't you have done that? Done what? Bought that gun. I had a run in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. You had a run in. I've had. Town. Calm down. It's done now, ain't it? Why are you being so cagey about all this? Always playing some goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No, you ain't. If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in mud life? Ain't you got one of your own? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once, that's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl... What was her name? Mary? That was different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Oaken Town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. <laughs> yeah, I know that place. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, let's head up to the ridge up there. Cinematic camera in this game is actually nice so because I just take right. out my hands from the keyboard. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. Let's see what we can see from up here. Um I was already a long time didn't playing, I forget how to how to cancel the cinematic view. That's them over there. The one now. Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only ranch hands. There's the ranch hands. Watch this. The sheep. Well, looks like one of them don't scare too easy. Another shot in club. That ought to do it. All right. Let's go round them up.
girl. Let's go get the strays. You ever work on a ranch, Marston? No. You? Oh, day here, there, but not much. Most cowboys I know are dumb as trees. How hard could it be? I guess we'll soon find out. Let's get these things. Bring them back to the yards. It will be better to go like this. They're pretty scattered. Let's get them all rounded up. Sheep to me. You ride Shank, keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. It'll be quicker this way. Trust Look out! This ain't the right time for you to be learn. <laughs> Where should I move them? I need to move them in the Valentine. Now to hurt. All right, whatever you say. I'm done arguing. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. Ah. Annoying, a bit annoying class. Back to Valentine is right around that mountain. Okay, like I said, I'll handle this. I hope that I'll handle this. Will I be paid for this kind of work? Those are up, boys. There you go. 
Fine sheep. They're okay. Well, you seen better around here? I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you for 25%. You want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25 percent. 15. 20. 18. Done. <clears throat> Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as I'm buying your sins. Uh, you're buying, but we're paying. Go on now. Come Thank back you. after the auction. You'll get your money. Hmm. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. He is? These <laughs> things are very fine. Oh. Let's move towards the saloon. 18%. I thought we was doing the robbing here. Still good money. <sighs> Thanks for all the help with this. <laughs> Can't herd, can't swim. Give it a rest, will ya? We ain't kids no more. Well, I never really was. Whoa. Huh? <laughs> Watch it. <coughs> Come on, sunshine. I'll buy you a whiskey. Not everything, but in the end, I don't believe in absolutes, just shades of gray. Compromises. Uh, gentlemen. Dutch, Nepo. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold, my good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen. Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago. Bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. What the hell? Vandalin! You don't know me, but you keep robbing me! My name is Leviticus Cornwall. I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you! Get out here before I have these men killed! <laughs> what do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash! You start spinning the yarn, and when I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. Got where I am by letting Why not? Like you rob from me, Vandalin. You're done. Now get out here now. Deal with this nonsense. Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case. Your mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another? Who wants to be the Messiah? Not me. No, I want to be this Dutch man. Um, stop. Try the checkpoint. I saw that it's gonna mark Who all of them. Wants to be the Metris Messiah. Who you will draw. Not me. No. I want to be this Dutch Vanderlyn. Whomever. Oh. 
down from the back. Why is there surviving so much? What the f- Why is this happened? Why I cannot just- I was aiming to his- to the head of this guy. Why it was happened like this? Horses are over there! Grab Strauss and let's go! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, God. To make sure nobody's following us, we'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Ugh. Sure, we can't stick around after this. Let's go! <laughs> Now I don't have any city where, where I can enter without being wanted.
I still have this range. They don't want to know her yet. <laughs> Let's go to Mika. Yeah. Aika. Oh, it's annoying. It was better to kill them. In that case. I just saw that it doesn't matter if I'll kill them or let them be alive. This shit has happened. hundred dollars you want from me over here Yes. Let her be here. Uh huh. This guy is down here. He's not living in our camp, he's living here. Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. Oh, plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? <laughs> Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen trying to protect his riding clothes. I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow, lose your head. Yellow? Well, seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me? 
Do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> There's a spot up this way with a good view of the trail. What are you doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit? Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? Like I told you, I ain't going back to Dodge without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean, how many men, guns, riders? Nothing serious. It'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Driscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Driscolls are everywhere now. Bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here, anyway? Oh, you know how it is. A few loose ends. Drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry. Making me kill half the town, just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I've seen you come full undone more than once now, and you've only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess we're robbing it. Then let's do it. Let's do it. Like the NPC speed here. All right, this is the spot. Hold up on this ridge. They should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Well, just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. <sighs> they should be here any minute. Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> right! Yeah. Can I wear the mask?
I'll give it to them. They put up half a fight at least. Yeah! Hey, luck! Come on, boy! Here. Buy a new rifle, too. Here you go, Arthur. From me to you. That's more your style than mine. What did I tell you? Like licking butter off a knife. Some... Like that. You don't want to just break it open here and be done with it? Could be more than we can carry. And there might be a second crew of riders tailing. All right, then. Not to mention, we ride back in with a big take, new wagon to boot. Dutch can't say we ain't pulling our weight no more, can he? I ain't sure I trust this new act of yours one bit. Listen, I know we got off on the wrong foot, but I got no beef with you. Tomorrow, that's okay. Looks like not okay. I reckon we're allowed to lie, you and me. Now, hold up there. Dutch knows I'm a feller that gets things done. Same as you. Gets things done? You'd be wearing a California collar now if I hadn't broken you out of jail. And I have expressed my gratitude, have I not? It's done. Main thing now is getting this haul back in one piece. Okay. Shit! Now we're being robbed! Get across the river! What the hell? job I do with you ends in a pile of dead bodies. Since when did you have a problem killing old Driscoll? Huh, huh. You've got a point. Let's strip this coach then. It clearly ain't going nowhere now. You know, we should really pick up a lock breaker one of these days. Save ourselves some bullets. Yeah, because saving bullets is such a concern of yours. Let's take what we can and get the hell out of here. That lock should shoot off easy and... I'll give you the honors. On account of... Well, this little mess. 
Come on, I'm happy to do it myself. This is the locks, am I correct? Go on then. What I'm shooting on. I'm done wasting my breath on you. That should do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth. All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its piece. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, <laughs> that still don't mean nothing. Now get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun. Okay. I got some money. his buddies I never ask for no trouble you're a good man you never ask for any trouble okay, I need to run out of here They're still running. Um, um. Yeah. Should I just shut them off? the force good morning Arthur 
keep hey. heading east. Is that the plan? For now. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? Oh, that'd be nice. Join the commune. We stop when we find someplace sensible. Shake them that's following us and lie low. This is lying low? Turned into a bunch of killers. I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. No. So we are biking out. So and where we are going now? So we moving? Yeah. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? <laughs> Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Charles, come with me. We got work to do. Just give me a second. Sure. This can wait. This. Oh. Hmm. We are moving again. I thought. How far is this? Ah, it's not that far actually. And I hit. <laughs> Fuck. They have the wanted zone over here. But now, Arthur. Find a new spot to camp. We're packing up and moving on. Again? We have to. Fast. We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made at Valentine. Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Uh, killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwall's men. They won't show me how to go. They must know where we are by now. So, we're heading south? Yeah. Area called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> so where does it end? Where does what end? The moving, the running. Dutch don't see it as rough. Call it what you want. I don't know. Before, put enough time and distance between you and the problem, eventually it went away. And this is a big country. But now... Pinkertons, better paid bounty hunters. I ain't so sure. Maybe the price on our heads got too big. Yeah, they've certainly got money behind them. They've got Cornwall's money behind them for one, which guarantees even more trouble. I think 
think that must be it up ahead. The old dried up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure it'd be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Hey, I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there. He's been shot. Looks like trouble got here before us. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. All right, Charles, let's go take a look. Look, here it is. A few tents, but the place looks empty. Let's have a look around and make sure. Where? Where is everybody? Maybe they heard us come. Be careful. And I'm being careful. Okay. You can come out of there. You okay? You don't mean no harm. He said, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? German? No. No, go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? Men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? They ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. There. Tracks. Come on. I don't see nothing. Hoof marks. This way. What's going on? Check out. The light is the light are pretty pretty bad so no point to use the camera now. What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just gonna send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons breeding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. Wait, just let me make sure this is right. Looks like they cut off down the trail to the left. You're right. Okay, come on. So, what happened with those Pinkertons anyway? When you were fishing with Jack? Said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch here. <laughs> they picked the wrong man there. We should have moved right then, if you ask me. Think this is the right way? 
give me a second. Look, they go along the shore there. I see them. Now, as I was saying, bastards told me they killed Mac. Said it right in front of Jack. Ah, uh, that kid. It's gonna be tough for him. Yeah, but he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well, if it's John's idea, it must be a good one. Thank you what for following, Dora. Uh, he disappeared on us for a while. When Jack was real young, a long time. Uh, Hold up. Let me check this. Mm -hmm. uh, this way. They continue on that trail ahead of us. Good eyes, Arthur. Let's keep on them. So, you were saying? Any graphic or visuals? I don't think that I need to add something at the moment. But thank you for offering. You did? And we was family, you know? I guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. There's a camp up ahead. No, I didn't already everything by myself. Whoa! At the moment. Seems deserted. Yeah, maybe in the Let's future. this guy i don't know but you know something this is a better camp spot than back there much easier to defend Maybe. yeah no problem shouting somewhere from there he is quick cut him free let's get out of here Come on, before someone comes back. Vorsicht, Vorsicht! There's eine Pfanne Vorsicht! Take cover! Three coming right at us! You get the hell away from here! Why the hell you drag us into this, Charles? Is that all of them? Doesn't look like it! Oh, 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 oh. Excuse me? Just die. <laughs> Where he is? Oh, that's them dealt with. You get him untied, and I'll see what they've left behind for us. Machen Sie mich los! It's okay. I'm getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Hey, you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. Follow me, my friend. All right, come on. I'll take you back to your family. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Also soll ich mitkommen? You will meet with another friend. Is your another friend? No, sorry. You won't. Wo 
bringen Sie mich hin? What the hell did you do to those fellers? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld, Money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. It, how did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Look, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. Yeah. Hey there, fella. Herrgott sei Dank. Schatz! Oh. Andreas, Andreas, ich hab gedacht, du seist tot. Beinahe wär's so gewesen. Meine Lieblinge, mein Herz allerliebst. Oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, now get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Vamos. alles klar. Vamos. Uh. Ich hab was für Sie. Einen Moment. Uh, ähm. Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Yes, it was a pleasure. Ja! Morning, morning. This place ought to be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Good. Yep. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. Camera is off just because the light is so bad. You can see, I'll show you. As you can see, the light is pretty bad now. So, I need to cover something. As you see, when I'm covering my lamp to this side, the light is pretty nice, but I don't have a cover for it. So, when I take it, when I take my hand out. It looks like really dark. I tried to put the camera down, but it's nothing changes. Even if I'll put it like this, so I have no reason. Morning. Excuse me, Mary Beth. These items first. Yeah. It's good morning result. Ledger. Let's refill my stock.
Fire bottles, high velocity repeatable ammo. What else does we have? Some local farms are selling of old goods. Okay, let's take it. <laughs> yeah, have a good work day. Touch one thumbs in campfire. Okay, let me need to do restock here. I have zero zero money. So let me contribute some more money here. Hi. Good morning. Morning. Restock everything. Restock, restock. You want me to sing this out or what? Let's take some ammo, ammo. Так, що ще зробити? Ще стріли. Рафі. Well, good morning. Morning, good morning. Мені подобається ось, ось це, Кентукі Бурбон. 
Як ще ти можеш вилікуватись? Просто випий бурбону і стане легше. you have quite a way with words words are the very least of my problems the very least i'm sure you're pathetic you're a pathetic man john marston don't i know it good day If you could give me some leather working tools, I can make some rugs and blankets and the like out of these hides you're bringing in. But oh, I wow. give him already, no? I'll keep my eye out for some good material. I saw that I gave him already some leather working tools. I want somebody to join me and play poker. Nobody want. Sadly. Okay, let's go to the Dutch. It's full, everything is full. What's there? Oh, it's a fishing in here. Smaller fish, smaller fish. Maybe. Anything by now, I wonder. Not catch anything? Why? I think the corn bite is bad here.
Oh. It was the first fail. But let it be. Hey. How you doing, old friend? Fine. <coughs> it's funny. Us ending up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves in a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. <laughs> we got the day. It's nice out. Old Jose says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of fit. You show us this crick you've been pissing in. Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would. My days are looking good along, over Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> Always dream crushing and bubble bursting, you. Come on, Jose. Let's go fishing. Come on, then. Just fish here. There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was a us. The curious couple and their unruly son. Mm -hmm. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipes some good, Jose. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. Where we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, mm -hmm. especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, in their hopes. We've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. All right. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Told you. Oh, careful. All it in, Arthur. Why did you guys just stop? Hello, gentlemen. Well, look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot to bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out.
How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. Hey, it's good to meet you. You a Scott? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandals! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Let's go after that train. And do not shoot them, you hear me? Come on, hurry. All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. So what do these fellas want it for? Well, the Anderson boys? Robbery, murder, kidnapping. They're the lowest of the low. Looks like the son of a bitch is going to make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. What are you waiting for? I'm not... Ooh, that must have hurt. Leave him. Stay with that train. The train is slowing <laughs> down to go through the station. Now's our chance. Get to the side of the train. Can't you go any faster? Uh, hurry. Get alongside it. Get alongside that flat carriage. Watch out. He's throwing bottles at us. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. I forget how to block. <laughs> how to block. Controls, uh, keyboard and mouse. Mm. Common on foot. Stealth, jump on horse, wagon dogs, trains. Combat lot on interaction. Attack the left mouse. I'm in the air. Toggle weapon. No. Melee attack air. Melee block. Melee attack F. Melee block air. Get some HP back. Just you and me now, pal. I'm gonna ride ahead and stop the train. It's just us then, little man. Come here. You ain't need to bother. Let me go. Can't do that.
think he's dead. I think I won the fight. <laughs> oh, just about. Bring him out here. Deputy. Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? We'll take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there, and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit, I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain round here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the brave... Wait. I... Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. Mm -hmm. What's We're gonna name? left here. Don't use the weapon or cause the trouble in quotes. Okay, I will try to do so. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on the left nice. is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. <laughs> what more do you need? Oh. Very little. Oh, good, they're back. And that's your friend, right? This is a police officer. <laughs> Let, me... Let me just save the timing of this. Yep. Okay, we're gonna stop just huh? ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can Why my Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? And my horse was doing the rolling, just rolling around and that's Come it. on, partner, before he wakes up. Bring him in so we can show Sheriff Gray. Hey, fellas. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo? These better be ugly rumors. 
Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting. A caravan. On the edge of town, behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town's trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Gray's, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and mm -hmm. falling out of rebel gold. Marrying cousins or not marrying Arthur. That's Jose. You start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Oh, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. Okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these Braithwaites. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Sempfishing or not? So you coming or not? Okay, let's do the sure, fishing. Sure, why not? Great. Hosea, why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kinda like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. Gentlemen, follow me. That's just how it is. Let's go, bro. Yeah. So how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch. Pickerel, too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney <laughs> owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Trelawney's like a bad penny. I'm not sure how good a magician he is, but he's certainly good at disappearing when he feels like it. Where does he go? Everywhere and nowhere, it seems. We wouldn't have got Sean back if he hadn't been weaseling around down that way, though. Hey, Dutch, remember that time you found him in the outhouse? <laughs> oh, yeah. We hadn't seen him in weeks. We stopped in some dead-end town in the middle of nowhere. Don't even remember the name. You and Bill were off doing something, Arthur. <laughs> so, we pick up some supplies, I go to relieve myself, open the door, and there's Trelawney, sitting there, newspaper in hand. Mr. Vanderlyn, I say, what the hell are you doing here? And he said, I could ask you the same thing. Now, if you wouldn't mind giving me a little privacy, I ate a rotten oyster. <laughs> Hey, maybe there are actually a hundred Trelawneys. What a terrible thought. Ah, watch it.
This is the spot. Down to the left there. <laughs> Down to the left here, okay. Okay, I think we'll ride there. I'll take a little break. I just want to take some breakfast. Didn't take anything yet. I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Hey, those the boats you mean? Yes. Good. Coming past. Okay, go. I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. All right. This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Frank. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, no. I got a good feeling about fishing here. There's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Let me row. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. I enjoy picking on children. <laughs> now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid mm -hmm. fish. But what about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do, too. Keep going. Going. I think here's good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Okay. So let's make a pause. I'll come back maybe in 10 15 minutes. Some music.
I'm back. Eat a breakfast. Let's continue with the fishing. Where's your rod, Arthur? Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance of hooking something big like a sturgeon. Good old worm. Oh, worms are 
good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Learn it is, then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. You got something biting, Arthur. Maybe if you caught a fish, we'd stop teasing you. Got a nibble there, Arthur. You got a bite. Now reel him in, Arthur. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Fella told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon huh. near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckoned. <laughs> I would like to see that. Hey, Jose. You remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Ah, huh, this again? I don't think I do. Oh yeah. You do. <laughs> he was maybe 20. 21. Walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast. Toasted <clears throat> him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, So how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish, or you can go drinking all day. Rob someone and buy some fish. You hooked him. Got him. I used to go fishing with this fella back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We go out all the time. But one day we were river fishing when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge, and out of the blue, Wesley stands up, takes off his hat. Bows his head. Then just a second. He sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. And he replies, Well, felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, dear God. I might swim to shore. Just gotta reel him in now, Arthur. There we go. Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Kaka went and scoffed the lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, he had some spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him, right to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. A as a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I liked it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Pinkertons have patrols out <laughs> all over tall trees and great plains. We saw when we went back for Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? That's it too could close. be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. Yeah. Oh, it's a better throw. Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Apparently so. I, uh, I only found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always see eye to eye. I wasn't always a very obedient child. I can only imagine. Still, I loved her. Almost in bus. my own way. And she, me, and hers. <clears throat> somehow, even from the grave. 
She managed to have the last laugh. I saw they have only one bait left, but it's still showing me that I have one, one, one. It looks like you got a bite, Arthur. Fish on the line, Arthur. That feels like a bite. Got one. There you go. That's a nice one. <clears throat> Large Make mouse, sure man. you don't forget about that and let it rot in the bag. Arthur's got a bite. That's on the hook, Arthur. Nicely done, Arthur. Hmm? Keeping that one, eh? Okay, let's keep this one also. Hey. And we call it a day, fellas. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. All right. I think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? Snake. We could keep the boat. Not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. <laughs> Thank you, boy. Now, Jose. Yes. How about a song? Okay. <laughs> um, I got one for you. I got one for you. All right. Yes, that girl. Give me some. I said, girl, give me some. She says, wait till the taters is done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. I couldn't wait till the tears was done. Threw her on the floor and knocked off some. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wish to God I passed her by. Mm -hmm. I wish to God I passed her by. Tears got burnt and so did I. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was that was pretty good. But you know what song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us, three. Mariners. Ah, of course. <laughs> well, we need three poor mariners to we come from the seas. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we go dance this round around around? Shall we go dance this round around around? And here is a bully boy. Come pledge me on this round around around. Men that do our states disdain, but we care for the merchant men who do our states maintain. To them, we maybe they can sting the pirate songs. Some songs from a black flag, for example. We should not let the folks back Indeed not. All right. I think I, well, I mean, we are going to be okay. 
I know. Hope so. Oh, I always know. Whenever I got you two by my side, things are gonna be just fine. <sighs> this place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. Well, I am going to take in the view. I'll give these fish to Pearson. Okay. You know. So what about the missions? Pearson mission? Race mission. Arthur, Arthur, how you been? I've been real worried. What do you okay? Think? Okay, say no more. Complain. You're missing out. You complain, complain, complain. Ah, Herr Morgan. And I'm just saying. You're not saying. Miss. You're shouting. Oh, I'm sorry. Did, did you think differently in the name? Yes. They left the lady. This paper. Or can you really keep me on battle? Okay. Talk to himself. The rock just tear the bastard. So I followed him out of the bar. He's a dark night. Oh, say whatever you damn well please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. You come near me, sailor, and I'll slice you up. You put that knife down or you're gonna be missing a hand! What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living! Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this! Well, I ain't cooking work? <sighs> My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <laughs> Enough, both of you! Well, come with me then. You wanna head out there? Run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. All right. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list. And can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping. Yep. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> was nice promotion, huh? Chopping vegetables to the shopping. I guess. Well, I ain't no scullion, and I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweating halfwit. I guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. Oh, where's that letter? Are oh, you reading his mail now? Oh, Robin and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm -hmm. Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> <laughs> he ever actually even talked to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? 
return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All mail to be sent to the same alias. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, give me that back. I got work to do. In the groceries. Shopkeeper, will you? No, are you insane? Well, I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws, not idiots. <laughs> you rob fools and rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. No guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. <laughs> well, I think this girl will do a shit. Looks like. Hello. Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. Not good at all. Now okay, no trouble. Thank you. About to pay bounty. A hundred and fifty, sixty. From Elizabeth, I from Elizabeth, I cannot take. Let's pay this bounty. How do you do, sir? Let's get back to this girl. Hope that she didn't fuck up anything. Yes, she could. my sister's newborn had more strength than you, and he came out bright blue. I'm trying. Try harder. this morning. Nothing new under the sun. Excuse me, madam. Hello. When you get a change? I think this is everything. Fine. Here, take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. We'll give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. Get up. So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see. Don't start. <laughs> I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I share all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair making cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well... My house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you... You know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and no. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Just don't kill the camp cook. Please. Hey there! Hey. What, uh... What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool. You kid. need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey! 
How's about this? trouble already. I'm fine. Idiot. We showed those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. I will listen to you regular. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. You did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But maybe not. Careful! Yeah. So who did they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbing Pierce about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you would. I have traveled wide, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind bothers. Not a chance. Well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I... Uh, I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> We got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. Mr. Matthews? No. Take your pardon, Arthur. Mrs. Adler. Good evening, Arthur. Survived another day. <coughs> Survive another day, yeah. Even it's really nice. How are you? Alive. And you? Fine. Let me ask you a question. Okay. If I was to kill Miss Grimshaw, would Dutch be mad? I think, <laughs> as a general rule, Dutch likes to avoid murder within the camp. I mean, there was that one time, but he was a traitor. But Miss Grimshaw, well, Dutch has a soft spot for her. I thought as much. Was she always like this? I ain't quite old enough to know. <laughs> no, of course. So as long as you've known her? She's always liked her swill of vinegar. I'd like to give her a swig of arsenic. We'll just do it discreetly. I will. 
You fancy a game of dominoes? Sure, why not? If I'm playing with you, she'll leave me alone. I'm not playing with dominoes. Can't believe the dominoes survived Blackwater, but my necklace didn't. Oh, yeah. I thought something looked different. Well, I stole that one. I don't know how to play Try dominoes, to actually. <laughs> I'll keep my eye out for you, too. Okay. <laughs> I need six, zero, zero, one, zero, three. Three, one. Let's play one zero. Should I be calling you Deputy Morgan now, Arthur? Whatever you say. Here, it ain't worth much. Great. Here. Six five. Hello, John. There, but nothing. Nothing on this one. One. One five. Damn, that's not pretty. Ah, well. Six. <clears throat> Six two. There you go. I must think Dominal. you're real lucky. Yep, there. Sorry, ain't worth much. No, I don't like to play the dominus. I'm thinking to do the quest with this guy. Yeah. So tell me, is your people uh Jacobites or English lovers, Arthur? My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. Couple of fuckers lazing about outside, all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. And he tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was, shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them, maybe more. But I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> Damn sons of bitches think they're mean. <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. Mm -hmm. You just keep your cool, you hear me? Let's go, go and check. Out. All right, let's Where do are this. We heading? Stretch, 
So, what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for the take. I got a lot of nose for these things. Dutch is always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there, sitting around waiting to be told I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause, as from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half. Other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? What, what's that box boy is tent for, then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. <laughs> The fact you don't know that suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always <laughs> pay me way. Don't you worry. <laughs> You're sure you scoped this place out right? Yes. See? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. What about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked out. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid. We got out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater, too, didn't you? <laughs> now that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off, Mac? Nope. Didn't see him. We lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Davey was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Watch it. Those bounty hunters strung me up, beat me, pulled teeth, burned me feet. I didn't breathe a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. The man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head. But you never really know what you're walking into. Yep. Folks always want to blame someone when things go wrong. Yeah, understandable. How far is it now? Not too much for them. All right, that'll have to wait. We're nearly there. Hard left coming up. Okay, let's go to All the right. left. It's going to be off the road up ahead. Up here, Morgan. Oh. Them to hear us coming. Here, I'll deal with them. Let's make sure we keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed the money. Hope you know what you're doing. Okay. This house. One of them outside. This is good. It is. Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. Okay. But I didn't see anyone else. Oh no, I see now. Quite blind, sorry. Five seconds to get the hell off my property, boy. Uh, look, we don't want no trouble. We just thought you might like to know we passed a big posse of lawmen headed this way. There were a dozen of them coming up east. What? Where? Right here. Heads up. Here come the rest of them. 
I am stuck here. If you want to leave, you'll tell me where that money stashed. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right, I'm the wall the money. in the bedrooms. Keep an eye on sunshine here. You know what? Okay, let's see. Get the hell out of here and don't look back. You see what else you can find, Sean. Told you we take him, no problem, didn't I? You did good. Let's see what the pay is first. Dug this up all by myself. A proper lead. All right, all right. You heard him, right? He said the stash was behind a loose board in the bedroom. Anthony, yeah. don't want to overstay our welcome, do we? Mm -hmm. Hey, it's over there. <clears throat> hey, this is more like it. Good work. Hey, what about my car? I found a place, didn't I? All right. Here, but don't forget to give the camp its share. Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right, don't need to lecture again. I'll see you back at camp. Never know what folks got stashed. <laughs> just got a few other places out there like this. We just did it for 20 bucks. I think it's not worth it. of cheese on body just drop, it. Just drop him here oh, let's take a hut okay no need to take Closest this anyway, so let's go here. Just just a second of time. Okay. Let's move on. Thank you for following visible.
So far so good. I have a free time for now, so I can play. Use weapons. Okay, I'll try to not use weapon in this city. Yeah, that's why I said that I have a free time right now. I guess it's a lot of shits going on here. Like, maybe like this week, three days was more or less quiet, so I have no trouble to play and stream. But last week was hey, look, I've been last week was a bit too much in Want my to city a exactly with a few of the folks on the property here Emmett Lee. All right. yeah word. but I ain't got the time to help obliged um, so I cannot enter right now Oh, I can enter through here. For me, the main problem is there... Uh, first of all, it's bombing, and second one, it's that I'm responsible for a bomb shelter. So, when the IRA raid is started, I'm just going out straight away. So, these quiet days is making me happy right now. Someone who could tell me about this place? Well, the wages are crap and the conditions are worse. Try Bo Gray. Saw him over by the dovecote there. It's his family on the place. I hope so. Okay, let's look for this guy. Mm, I'll just go by my foot. The mark over there. I just greet you, that's it, nothing special. Why is there so aggressive? Now maybe it's because of my shirt full of blood. Huh. That's actually possible. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaite's. <laughs> I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. Get it. Yeah, for sure. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee That's Gray, right. the Let sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaite's oh. for so long like now that I can't even quite explain the moment. why. Beyond blind loyalty, and stupidity. I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. Yeah. She's like a it's woman nice from the life. future. She's like tomorrow. If tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for you. What do you mean by secretly what normal? I don't want to get involved. <laughs> Gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. 
We grays, we've always got money. No brains mine, but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Oh, yeah. I just misheard maybe something. There was... Turning my camera on. Oh, so she's quite far away from here. Let me take my horse. Yeah. Okay then, girl. It's the secretly normal. actually we are doing it locally if mm, i have some guys here we run in a shop really really nice shop this one is i don't actually remember the flavor so let me just check it better I just like it. It's just relax, a relax flavor, flavor for me because I'm taking, I'm buying straight away by half liter of liquor, and it's I cannot just really, as as you know, when you're vaping a lot of same liquor, you're gonna just don't feel good about it. But when you're taking something sim simple and not really powerful with this. You can vape as much as you want. <laughs> well, that's why I'm vaping some kind of simple stuff here. And this one is quite strong. It's just a pie. It's apple pie. This one is really nice. But if you're gonna vape like 100 milliliters of it, you're not gonna feel anything at all. And find the taste of it menu. It's something simple with vanilla and some kind of some ice cream. Just simple taste with nothing special. It's like as you know, when you're vaping something too much, you'd better take the mint or peppermint to decrease your tasting. So. For me, I can take one big value of this and then something powerful like pies or maybe sweet fruits or skittles, some kind of like this. Because at the moment, I'd like I'd like to wave the one hit wonder magic man, but right now in Ukraine we cannot get it. And actually I don't have already enough money to buy one hit wonder all the time. So, I'm taking the local stuff. Magic Man was... It was a watermelon. Watermelon and some kiwi. You never heard about One Hit Wonder? It's a... It's a LA. I think, yeah, it's LA. Or... Yeah, it's LA. It's US liquor. just cannot order right now from US. Oh, we can, but it's gonna be uh, a lot more expensive than before, before the war started.
like you if you can search about the one hit wonder the one hit wonder magic man. Yeah, it was already expensive, but in time of the war, it's two times. When you're not like big importer, maybe for a big importer for a factory, it's more or less okay. But for the local store, for the guy who was ordering like maximum one box of the liquor from the US, right now the prices are insane. Odessa and I was not moving from Odessa. It's south part of Ukraine. If you know where it is. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from. Uh... From Bo. <gasps> Oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages, or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. <laughs> but if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Have you ever Somebody been to Ohio? Ohio, sir? No. Well... Neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep. It's quite normal, just left. as I but said, like last him because he last two weeks stop. was really, really shout here. Are, are, there's something else. <laughs> you Maybe, got a family, uh, sir? Last few, no, not really. last. Well, they tolerate Three, four him days was more or less quiet, Me, but with my ideas yeah, it was my like power bombing. Can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. Uh, I was already counted even how much the, they spent to bomb Odessa in the last in this last weeks. They spent around 40 million, no, 400 million to bomb Odessa. Well, it was insane. Say, and they bombed the UNESCO building in the middle of Odessa, if you saw the, how it's called, the church. Yeah, it's helped some, but the problem is, again, we don't have it too much. We cannot protect all the Ukraine, we cannot protect all the main city. Odessa is the main, uh, it's the main city to the sea connection. So that's why after there was not agreed to the grain, how it's called, to the grain, agree uh, grain agreement. So they start to bomb Odessa, they bomb the seaport, they bomb the middle of the city, they bomb uh, the grain storages, and all of this kind of stuff. They all run. And also they bombed some fucking living buildings near me, it's like around maybe 700 meters from my house. Well, the bomb. Oh. I don't, uh, well, maybe a bit, but... Here. If you see Jeopard again, is quite good, but Jeopard is quite good for the sure. short range and uh, short range system defense and the drone defense, yes. But again, the missiles, mm, Shepard is not working well. Again, the missiles, we need to have some Patriots, some T, or this kind of systems, what can we really act fast it 
Yeah, there is a problem because, like, you have the protection. You have five, five, ten systems. Yes, but you cannot protect everything at all. To protect everything, you need to get full of the protection everywhere. It's the same like in Israel. Uh, their air defense is good, but the problem is they are still leaking some of the bombs, some of the rockets. Why? Because they don't have so much also. Yeah, that's the problem also. If it's gonna be only military base, you can protect the military base. But when they are attacking the infrastructure, like uh, atomic infrastructure, electricity infrastructure, just grain storages, just simple storages. I was born not in Odessa, I was born in Odessa area. It's like a small village. We don't have anything like any military base close this village, maybe. Closest military base to this village is around 50 kilometers. But my village already was destroyed. I don't know. They destroyed one storage of the foods. They destroyed one big apartment. A big apartment like... It's not apartment, it's residential building. Residential building with 16 floors. They just destroyed fully. So... That's a disaster. Quantity is always good, but the numeric of the systems at this moment would be a lot better. Okay, what's this? Molly Ashia. Molly needs to speak to you. Dutch. And this guy again. Yeah. Even the F-16, the airplanes, what's the problem with the airplanes? We already was agreed to take the airplanes to not attack anything, but we still, they still do not concern about the, where we will teach the Ukrainians, how we're gonna give it, so we still don't, don't even think about get the F-16. Yeah. The problem is the F-16 we will use mostly, oh, thank you for your cheers. The F-16... By the agreement, as I as I read it from the Ukrainian and the Western part, was was in the open source. We're gonna use the F-16 as the air air defense system. So we're gonna use it as an air defense system, and we can change our flights. What we have right now, we can send them to the front lane and use F-16 as an air defense system. It's good, yes, but yeah. also if. It's, if it's gonna be like 10 F-16, so we cannot cover everything. All of this is depends on what type of missile, what type of defense. I don't know why they hide it so much. Ukraine was shouting from the from the start of the war that we losing the that we lo that we losing the air fight because we don't have so much aircrafts. <laughs> it's simple. We don't have so much aircrafts that why we losing. The aircrafts is not only the attack of the front lane. The aircrafts is also a defense of the just the simple cities. The Ghost of Kiev, it's uh, it's kind of real, but it's a story also in the same time. The Ghost of Kiev, it's not a one person. The Ghost of Kiev, it was the it was the pilots who defend the Kiev. It was like ten or eleven pilots who was defending the Kiev, and they got the name a Ghost of Kiev. But somebody, somebody, yeah, somebody believes that it was it one person. But still, they did a great job to defend the Kyiv, with this aircraft, what they have. Mm. Ah, 
get rid of this guy. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. I don't know about the footage. It'll cost you. Uh, I can't be bothered. I don't know here. about this Take footage, me. but Thank you, uh, from what I know, Thank you. the ghost of the key was like a real, but real story. Oh God. Because what a woman. She's... And then I don't remember exactly how much pilots it was. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like yeah, we did well, but bring back still, the monarchy, give we need more. Chance. And the same is, a dirty word in these parts. it's a political game. It starts to be the political game, sorry. The games with our they're lives. Gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just... No more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Mount up, all right. So follow me to Rhodes. Come on. Yeah. Come on. I'm trying to lock the yeah. into myself at the moment. When I have a well, free time. And take the road to town. Trying to have some maybe streamer career. <laughs> what to do? Because already like two years when the war has started, I don't have I don't have a job. I worked before on the cruise ships. But right now I'm stuck at home. Calm down. I can't be so calm. I need to do something. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is. No, I. I read a lot of. A lot of media. Not only the New York Times. I worked in uh, Royal Caribbean. Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please! What? Yeah, I like to work there, but... Now... I'll try to do something with... No with the streams, sir. maybe... They need protecting maybe it'll, it will Certain pop, elements. maybe no. Mostly my family. Penelope, I bet you... I worked as a bartender. Bartender and was trying to apply a lead bartender. It's good. It's actually good. I like it. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like I cannot say a lot, but yes, it's a nice job. Well, I ain't never been in a Yeah, it can be very good with tips. It depends on the and the folks the road when you where you're going. Sure you feel right at home. Shall we go? Uh, my last contract right, was really uh, really strange. We know our song is a good one, and we know our cause is a pure one. Oh, that's yes, nice man. to you. Let liberty reign. We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook I remember my last contract was in China, after, just after the coronavirus was, like, already getting lower. Oh, that's pretty nice. Very good, Mr. Morgan. And about tips, I cannot even think in this contract. It was a China. We came there. We just want to start a cruise. And it was COVID case in our ship, so our ship been locked because of the one COVID case. So we are, we are standing in quarantine in the ship. When it's finished, we made like a couple of cruises and one more COVID case. They locked the ship again. <laughs> yeah, it's helped me a lot to learn the English. I learned it a lot. Mm, I'll learn it before the cruise yet, but in Ukraine with some good teachers. 
But anyway, most of my experience with the English language and a lot of the stuff was from the cruise ships. Also, the funny stuff that uh, mostly uh, we are not speaking with uh, people who are native in English. So the cruise ship, it's like all around the world people. So all of them are speaking with their dialect, with their accent. And it's quite fun to learn the English from from the people who are not native in English. <laughs> Thank you for follow. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a great day for all of us. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. equals. Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair ah, and it's a equal. feminist protest for the answering the questions. <laughs> equal I'm, free, just I'm speaking natively Ukrainian, and Russian, like English, maybe like B2. I know some words from the Filipino, from Indonesian, from Indian, from the Romanian, Bulgarian, Poland, Belarus, like something like this. What are you doing here? Listening. I'm playing on Red Dead Redemption at the moment. Stop them from ruining the speech. You need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always were. Bo, why don't we just leave him? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ronnie. What? You'll hit me? Come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. You don't want to go back. What do you mean by the system? What system? Kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to ah, take you Mr. Morgan. My cousin, I'm a primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... I wrote, a, I wrote about my PC down in the... down of the stream. I just upgraded maybe a few weeks ago. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, Thank you for a subscription, secrets, Invisible. And we bury them deep. Your secrets and your... Yeah, let me just... Treasure. Kill the core. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right. You know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. This is awful. Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know. Have a nice day. Everyone is a bastard. Leave. I will. As soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... Artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I Actually, really love it. Like I, I do. Well, that. stick around. Maybe you can die for it as well. I thought you were bathroom. trying to make me feel better. Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here. Your payment. Thank you. Yeah, the Excuse light is me. obviously better, better with the open thing. Okay, I got the salty box. Only in Dutch. I 
that's a gold piece of bench. Okay, my girl. So I didn't play the Erdair one. That one is my first Erdair. Like, I started to play from the Erdair 2. I'd like the GTA, all of the GTA. I even made the run from GTA 4 with the DLCs. <laughs> make zombie versions of 2. Maybe it could be fun. As I see, they still doing some stuff in RDR2, so maybe they're gonna do something interesting here. I cannot hitch the horse anywhere here. Okay. <laughs> maybe. I'm out of energy somehow. Energy core. Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy. Is and where are you from, killer. Invisible? Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry, Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Oh, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life no. can be tough. You're a saint. No, it can't. And no man knows no, another enemy. I've not anything. been there. No, sir. But still, I was I all around the Europe, Asia, but not you, saint. employment like that. But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still. Don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. No, I mean by the by the cruise lines. I was I was heading I to the USA we one time, but world. it was a change on my on my ship. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers, good honest thieves like us, we're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh. Sheriff Gray, I've been to Australia, uh, even to Australia, there Japan, whole, mostly all of the Asia, and, and mostly all of the Europe. Good name. And the state a whole lot of income. I lived Boy, once in Russia, like for out. maybe Maybe's five months in my childhood, it. and from it's that time I didn't problem, love the Russia. Sir. I've been in Not Moscow, like when I was maybe five or six, I don't remember now. exactly. And, and my what I remember from the Moscow, first of all, they was like abusing the Ukrainian people over there, and second of all, the sh the city was so fucking uh, dirty. It's like fully dark city, fully dirty city, like ah. Uh. Archibald, how are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on Petra becoming Pavlovsk. a temporarily deputized Yeah, I heard about this city. Most Pavlovsk towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain yeah. of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course! Who else would be? You were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate it. Just give me a second, please. I'll take a glass of water. Oh. Ready, dry.
até por impossível. Aqui é um pé. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners? Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites? Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather yeah. expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole the fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, bottles. I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. That badge rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go Let's see how our winter will be. The last winter was actually horrible. And by the predictions, this winter will be even worse. Dear me, that don't look good. Come on, mister. I mean, for the electricity. And all of the stuff. Like last winter, the people was having like were having electricity like, two hours oh, per five days. Mm. About harvest, hey, we already look lost a this. lot. So look, suit and tie, one bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. Yeah. We should get going. The problem, the problem with this nuclear power plants is that they steal it and turn it off. It cannot actually be the power plant the power plant explosion because it's turned off yes it could be some leak of nuclear stuff it's not that much but it could be the problem is that it's not working for ukraine it's not working at all i want to have a look at these papers sure that's the problem i'll direct you and we are luck out of the electricity and there and there the bombing and other electricity electricity plants okay the Harrison dump what was producing the electricity. Poor feller. Yes, they put bombs, but you need to understand that the nuclear power plant and the nuclear power storage, they've been produced like to survive even the apocalypse. They cannot be exploded. They can be exploded from the from the inside of it but to get inside of it i don't think a lot of people want to get inside of the power plant storage <laughs> and even from the inside they still like a child on the end of a grown man's arm no it's it's mostly not possible but anyway this tells you what kind of people the braithwaites are selling moonshine to murderers i tell folks don't even speak to them don't even look them in the eye yeah. I'm sure I wouldn't. It was like months ago or one and a half They're months right ago, somewhere like this. I sent my mom to UK, so she's working in UK right now. 
And it was some rumors that the Russian will blow up the Zaporizhia power plant right now. And my mom was so scary. She in, she's in UK and she was so scary. She sent me a money. <laughs> buy some food, buy some storage, close all of your window, close everything. <laughs> We already prepared water and food storage for a long time ago from the start of the war. She want more because she was scary. That's the problem of the people. They're believed to the rumors and they're getting scary and it's panic attack for all around. All around. So the panic, it's not a best friend of yours. <clears throat> it could spread fast, but the pro uh, Odessa from the Zaporizhia power plant is around 400 km. Nearest front line from me it's around 200 km. My friend, she's uh, my friend, she's living in the Zaporizhia, close to the power plant. Yes, and she might be a bit, she might have a bit attention about it, but not yet, not me. I said this place was crawling with vermin. They attack all the city. We are getting all the attention, so... I have my backpack ready all the time. Like, I have all of the documents, all of the money, money, my stash, some change clothes. Just a bottle of water with me, so when the... I already started, I taking the key from the bomb shelter, taking my backpack and going there. Take the left. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers. The cheek of them. A fine idea. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and then tie them up. Got it, Deputy Williamson. See one by the bridge over there? Yeah, I see him. Thank you for cheering again. Have a good night, bro. See you. See you later. You wait here. I'll deal with him. Okay. Make it quick. I think I saw another one guarding the still. I'll get this feller trussed up. to the wagon.
Just drop him with the others. I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so. Think you're real funny, don't you? Tell me about <laughs> that. That is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. Yeah, I'm sure. more. Please tell me you're almost done, Arthur. Sure. Just a second. Should I ignite all of this or not? Sniper. and get out of here. Fine by me. Inspect documents. Quick, mm. let's go before any more show up. Let me hide it. Standing a level six. Must return to our lives. Ah, 
seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it for personal consumption. It's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. My cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. All Americans, okay. Only I didn't, quiet. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life move on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me. Okay. Should I stash this somewhere near camp, boss? Yes, show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always? From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. What do you mean, Young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. <laughs> hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay. On my word. Set, go! Why is he so fast? so good at running away, Arthur. <laughs> new age had slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. You're, I was gonna say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that.
Didn't we get any money from for what we slow work? It's killing me. Javier, there he is. The man who saved my hide not once, but twice. Mm -hmm. What you want, Marka? Nothing. Just saying thank you, brother. I can't call you brother, can't I? I think I like you even less when you're friendly. <laughs> you're the first person ever told me that. Mm. This is efficient. Here is I don't know, maybe some robbery also. Ah, Mr. Morgan, I feel I made a bit of a fool of myself again. Again? Uh, we've all done it. <laughs> and you saved my life again. Well, maybe one day you'll save mine. Oh, my soul. <laughs> yeah, I'd like that. Don't make fun of me. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Anyway, it wasn't a complete waste of time. I stole this from one of those wasn't awful it? men. You should have it. Okay. Uh, excuse me? Thank you. But what's going on? You were blind drunk. I was drunk, but I never... Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mission... I think I'll need to take some um, I don't know. So far it seems okay, I guess. I think that there is rich pickings for some carpet baggers like us. <laughs> is that what we are, is it? Avenging your father's death after thirty years? There's gold, Bart. Gold. If you say so. Use a contribution. I, I don't remember how much items do I have. Oh, I don't have much actually. Mm. I think I can donate some around like $150. Like this. Uh, to buy some upgrade. I don't remember how much it cost. It cost 325. I have not enough yet. I can buy the laser working tools for this guy. Okay, I'll do it later then. By the way, I think I need to swim. Just for a bit. Clear up myself. Will it clear it up? Yeah. So now I'm clean. Almost clean. <laughs> And the arrows left here. This one of my horses. So here is a Hussein Matthew, and here is a Molly. 
Let's do some only quest. Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, mistake. how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I, I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty he is everything, is. so... Oh. Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip off. So now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside <laughs> as well as on your sour face. If you say so, but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you talking about? Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said. Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with him. <laughs> well, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. Oh, no need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. <laughs> Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. <sighs> This way, bunch of smart Alex. Hey, how you get wind of this old man? We only been down here all of five minutes. Well, while wow, you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. What is it you scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the road. <laughs> okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Oh, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. Uh -huh. Boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. Be nearly a thousand here. 
shit! Hey! They can say something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! Sack. Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we, uh, get some rest. Ugh. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit! Absolutely. <laughs> Shut up, old man. Look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. I ain't in there. Let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I... I... Why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Clay, Clay, tell me what you heard. I don't... Uh, maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. Ain't me. It better not be. All right. Coop forth. Hello. Go check out the, the barn. Uh, sir. From there, heading towards us. Should we move? No? Well, the place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go around the back.
shot. <laughs> Can't old fella. Get the hell off me! Arthur! Um, I cannot. Sh I should shoot him. Made a meal out of that, didn't you? Oh, just stand there, why don't you? Making an old man suffer. <laughs> That's the problem of being blind. I didn't see them actually. Where is the enemy? Watching for a bullet race. We all still alive? Yeah, yeah. just about. Yeah, I'll deal with you later. Uh, we got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got coal on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, leave it, Gwonk. Get out of here. Every man split up, Gwonk. Run quick. Good luck, Johnson. <sighs> Stay quiet and move. This guy.
Let me see, I can loot all of them. Not sure that I'll get something nice, but... Did he see me or not? Hope he's not he didn't see me. Other missions in the camp. So I'll go near to Passe. Okay. Later time. Okay. So now I. No, I'm not wanted here. So that I become wanted again. Everyone around. Everywhere around. <laughs> Thank you. You flatter me. Being alive it's always good. Tell me some mm. stories about when you was young and pretty before time. <laughs> ravaged you. You horrible man. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> mm. Run along, cowboy. Let's eat something. Okay. I think I'm gonna be a little bit ill. <sighs> Let's play the poker just. Alright. Alright. Let's do this. Can't teach me to suck eggs, gentlemen. <laughs> I feel the Lord here at this table. I do. Six and four Is diamonds. Right? Okay. Yeah, already full. Four, five, nine diamonds. I have a higher card in I don't think here's this it's bad four yes that's cool cool so if I have a chance see if it's gonna be one more diamond so uh how about that predictable Any 
anybody here to play? <laughs> Let's oh, lose. that all for me. Have a look. Well, all right. eat that one out. Ah. You won with that trash? She have ace. You don't mind if I do. She had an ace. All right. Let's see if you can stay I'm not the best poker this, player really. anyway. <laughs> I'm fine, Mr. Morgan, though I could beat you with my eyes closed. We'll see about that. What I'm queen. I'll check. I'll fold actually. All right. Huh? Good. <coughs> Let's enjoy the game for a little bit longer. What are you fellers up to around here, Mr. Morgan? Actually, probably better I don't ask. Yeah. Yeah. The moonlight is actually nice. Decent king. Right. That's or, all I got. Let's race straight away. Brave or foolish? Probably foolish, but. <laughs> you watching, gentlemen? Darn. Nine, five, ten. Okay, let's have some fun here. I smell bull. Here. Let's do it. I'll see you. All in. There they are. Two pairs of ten. I got very little. Good. Ah. Garbage. <laughs> I guess it's old Susan's day. Let's do my in. Now, <laughs> <laughs> this is finally getting fun. Don't know why they say poker's a man's game. You boys can't play to tie your shoes. Fold. Come on, just a game. All right then, that I'll live with. <sighs> well, all good things. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you mind? One of you fellers cheat, I'll take a pinky off him. That's it. Check. Eight of seven. Let's liven this up a little, eh? Oh, pride cometh. That's what I got. Oh, I see that's a pear you're growing there. Mm. I reckon I'll go all in. Ha! Men can't lie for shit. There. And you can wipe that damn smirk off your face. Oh, no arguing with that. Yes! I got my money back. Lovely. Alright, let's play. My luck is turned. Oh, good day for you.
Come on, you got this. Look at you people. Y'all know damn well I taught you everything you know about cards. Oh, the card is here. Dragon tree. Okay. Check. Check. Let's see the cards. Hmm. I have a two pairs. Oh, I checked. That's all I'm going for right now. What you so scared of? You don't go for it, you won't get much back. Hmm? How about this for now? There we go. I'll call you. All or nothing. I say bluff. You're bluffing. That there's real pretty. There you no, go. No, no. Mm -hmm. That. Well, that's impressive. Okay. House. I can read bit. the writing. That's it for me. Bye. Uh, if he's going out, it's not interesting to play too. Done. <laughs> okay, this is a table for a poker game. I see. Let's see what about Lenny. Will we get drunk again? Um, oh. Valentine? Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Ah, uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. Mm -hmm. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. Mm -hmm. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. Shady Bear. <laughs> Let's take a look. Shady Bear. I was hoping you'd be in. If it's how they told it, it's gonna be something all right. We'll see. You know, I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. <laughs> well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrifying. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lemoyne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a... A glance or a word. 
And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west is... Out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Right. Decent folks. But some places down here, they judge differently. Well, no. Guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. I'm sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold's still shiny. And their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay, then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna wanna strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. So where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? You see that church up ahead? They're supposed yep. to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Let's take a look. <laughs> look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Whoa! You following back there? Shogun savings. Gun savings. Okay. Hear that? Someone's on the track. Look there. A wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers. Out on the road. Hey, that looked like dynamite in the back there. It looks like we're on to something. I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. Come on. We can get a view on them from that wall up there. Huh? Make sure you bring the sharpshooter. I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. Hmm? What you see through your scope? Just a moment. When you've had a look, tell me what to do. Down by the road. 
we do well to draw them into one spot if we're gonna make a pass at this. What else? You got men covering the house? I know dynamite crates when I see them. You got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot, then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for a performance. I see. So, what do we do? I'm gonna hit him head on. You save your play acting for Jose and the girls. <laughs> Fine by me. So, you gonna make a move? Oh, there it goes. Very all of them. There is a horse. Aha! Uh -huh. I found him. Last one. Quick! Any men in the area would have heard that. They might be on the way. So let's grab something and get out. Sounds like a plan. These people are stealing all. There might be guns in these way. Hey, this could be promised. What do you got? Some dynamite. So let's take it. Searching. Oh. I should climb in. I think we should search the crates, Arthur. Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Can we take something else? No. Yep. Yep. We need to get these back. Easy. Hey, take it easy. Hey, 
riders coming our way. Okay, keep a cool head. What's the black feller doing coming out of Shady Bell? In one of our wagons. Chasing us. I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> we did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to... <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragging. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like him, you know? Well, so do I. It's my better judgment. Just, you worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Black Claw. But... Then enough but enough. Me and Dutch, and everyone who counts, we know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay, then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. The cinematic camera triggered by itself. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. Complete. This way. Come on. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll make a save for now. I'll make a save for now and I'll continue as a bit later. I need to do some stuff here. I just forget how to make a save. So. Like a... Somewhere around. Horse, Arthur, story. Yeah, save the game. I'll make a save now. And. I'll come back maybe in three hours. Thank you guys for watching and see you just in a bit later.